easy victory in game one of this what has turned into a doubleheader. So I'm getting some weird buzzing. What is that? But anyway, we'll get to starting lineups here in just a moment. It's Anthony Barone going to start things off behind the plate for East Side Memorial. Barone, excellent on the mound his first time, uh, or in the first game. It was 9-2, to two, the final score, which uh, is the reason that, of course, we're having this tie, uh, tiebreaker game here. On the mound for New Tech, it's Matthew Ruiz. Played shortstop in the first game. Takes that one for a strike. It'll be Lorenzo Barone on deck. That one misses. 2-2. Two, two. That one misses outside. 3-2. Payoff is fouled back. We'll do it again. Oh, yeah. This one's hit high into the air into left field. Playable. And making the catch for out number one. Maldonado out there in the left field once again. He played out there in the last game as well. That brings up Lorenzo Barron. Or Barone, excuse me. He, uh, second hitter of the game. Takes it for ball one. The fly out to seven, the first out of the game. Barone looking for his first hit of the game. He was rock solid in the first game as he takes that one for a strike. Ended up finishing that one just one for four. But he did reach via catcher's interference as well. He chops this one foul. Just foul. Barely skipped over the bag there. Ball and two strikes to the second hitter, Barone. That one misses. It's Mauricio Nolasco Rodriguez on deck. Another foul ball. Winner of this game, of course, will move on to the playoffs. This is the tiebreaker for fourth place in the division. We were going to have a tiebreaker earlier between these two teams, but rain prevented it, and then they had that last game to see if New Tech could just get the victory and end up in the postseason as this one's roped over the infield, and that'll be down into center field for a base hit. So Barone gets his second hit of the day, first in this game, and with one out here in the top of the first, there's one on. Starting to get a lot of ants on my table here. Been struggling all day with the connectivity issues. Still today we're not in the second game. We're still not rock solid. Throw over. Not in time.
Daniel Alden Cortinas is going to be the catcher today for New Tech. You see him behind the plate now. Throw over once again, not in time. They're trying to avoid Nolasco Rodriguez right now. So far, the same lineup, one through four. So here's the throw down. The throw is going to get underneath the glove. So he's in there safely. Darius Stewart at shortstop now. Couldn't quite make that tag. But a pretty good throw from Alden uh, Cortinas. We've got some chatter from the new tech coach here on around home. As I think we might have to keep the same batting order. They just pointed at Nolasco Rodriguez and called him out. Now they're getting the other team's coach. Memorial sending their coach to the <laughs> meeting with the umpires now. Lights are on as the sun's starting to come down. We already have a stoppage here in the first inning. I'm really not sure what the call could be because they're keeping the same uh, batting order as Barone is there at first base. There's one out. Ybarra's still waiting on deck. would be the second time that they've just kind of called an out without giving us uh, giving me any explanation Nolasco Rodriguez was the person they called that final out on and seemingly without reason he was at first base and they called him out and now there now there's issues with uh, Nolasco Rodriguez at the plate now. We'll get starting lineups here in a minute. But I can take you around the infield for New Tech. It's Malachi Mathis. Third base. At shortstop, it's number one, Darius Stewart. At second base, it's Andrew Cyphers. At first base, it's number 16, Braylon Thomas. So he was a little shaken up at the end of last game. Good to see him out for the tiebreaker. And then in the outfield, Maldonado in left. And I believe they've got Camden Porras out in right. And center field. Looks like it's going to be Jackson Williams once again. We're still, still discussing. I really have, don't have much of an idea of what they could be talking about. So whatever it is, we'll get it in a minute. Here we go. And after all that, we're right back where we started. Mauricio Nolasco Rodriguez at the plate. Barone at second. He singled and then stole second base. Here we go. Matthew Ruiz on the mound. That one misses high. We are here for the tiebreaker. Should be a full game is what they said. Although I've heard here as they've got the runner in a pickle. Running down to second. It eats up the third baseman. They'll have to hurry to throw over that one. They do get the tag, and they've got their own out on the base paths. Caught. Not even stealing. They just got him in a pickle. 
And that's out number two, Mauricio Nolasco Rodriguez. Will stay at the plate. And it's big number two five, Adrian Ibarra on deck. But now two balls, no strikes, and two outs with nobody on. To the hot spot today once again having some issues as the 2-0 pitch is taken by Mauricio for a strike. So now two balls, one strike, two outs here in the uh, top of the first. I believe we got a quick game of baseball going for you. This one's roped through the infield but over there ranging over to make the play. The throw over is in time. The man himself, number one, Darius Stewart making the play to end the inning. So a bit of a backwards one, but a 1-2-3 inning to start off for Matt Ruiz. And we head now to the bottom of the first, and we will be right back. Looks like we're having a little bit of trouble with our hot, uh, with our spots right now. We'll get those up in a minute. And it will be Lorenzo Barone. He'll be the pitcher in this game after Anthony Barone pitched in the first game. He was excellent. He's half as good as his brother. This will be a tough one for New Tech to get the victory in. Looks like Maynard New Tech will be running with the, uh, once again, the similar starting lineup. Get the, the uh, fielding lineups for Eastside Memorial here in a moment. Adrian Ibarra playing third base again. Looks like Nolasco Rodriguez, he caught last game. He'll be the shortstop today. And it'll be Maris at one, or yeah, at first base at one. Here's the pitch from Barone. Leading things off for New Tech is Jackson Williams. Is that one is going to, after weak contact, get around the first baseman, stay fair, and be a leadoff single for Jackson Williams? Lucky start. for the center fielder. And that'll bring up Darius Stewart. Short stop in this tie game, or in this uh, tie breaker. As that one gets away, as the runner is gonna try and go all the way for third, the throw is high and not gonna be on where it needed to be. So going first to third on a pass ball is Jackson Williams. Got the bloop single, and now nobody out with a runner on third. It looks like Mateo Castillo Perez is going to be the catcher. Now Darius Stewart, all he has to do is hit something into the air, into the outfield at least. That one's going to miss the zone strike or, uh, for a ball. Two balls with no strikes. That one misses outside. The count's 3-0. And already Barone is having a bit of a harder time than the last Barone who started a game.
The 3 0 is going to find the zone for strike one. The next hitter will be Daniel Alden Cortinas. This one is going to get down for a base hit in the left. That'll just be a single, but it's plenty to drive home Jackson Williams. And in the bottom of the first inning, it's one to nothing, Maynard Utec. And before the game, New Tech won a coin toss to uh, to stay as the home team here, or rather, I should say, uh, Eastside Memorial lost a coin toss. That one will find the zone. Daniel Alden Cortinas is down 0-1 in the count. So here's the pitch to him. And a way different energy in this new tech dugout as this one's popped high away. And pretty close to some fans. Well, that'll get down. Now a two-strike count to Alden Cortinas. And there's the throw over, trying to get Stewart is not in time. So it's one to nothing. Still nobody out. This is just the third batter of the inning for Barone. As the runner's gonna go, a good hit and run, as that's gonna get away from the third baseman. The runner's gonna go to third, and they're not gonna be able to get him. So the hit and run is two bases for Darius Stewart. Cortinas is out. But not before advancing a runner. First to third, good job from him. Doing what his team needs, and now got the big fella, Caden Easley. Caden was one for three in the last game, but other than in the seventh inning, he had the only hit for New Tech. Easley. Even up. Swings through that one, and it's a two-strike count to Caden Easley. Easley looking to bring home the runner. Ball and two strikes to him. He swings. That one is low. The runner's going to try for home, and he'll be able to score. It didn't check three. And the runner comes home to score, so an RBI for Caden Easley. So Easley gets the strikeout, but the runner advances and scores. So two to nothing in favor of the Titans. Which is a good sign considering how much the offense struggled through the first six and a what, third innings? Yeah, six and a third innings in that last game. They already have two in the bottom of the first. Their total for the last game is that one just misses the pitcher. Matthew Ruiz stepping up. He's batting fifth now. Fouled off. I believe Braylon Thomas is the on yeah, Braylon Thomas is on deck. Is that one? Ooh, wildly threw behind the batter. But a good job by uh, Castillo Perez making the play. Not letting that one get a get by him. Reached for that one, punched it foul. 
And that's going to land in the grass safely. Oh, misses outside. That's a walk, a two out walk to Matt Ruiz. So after retiring two batters in a row, Matt Ruiz gets on on balls. Brings up Braylon Thomas. Looks like it'll be Cyphers on deck. Thomas getting his cuts in. This is his first at bat of the game here in the first inning. Last time he was up, he singled. He came around to score. It was the second run in the seventh inning for New Tech. He swings through that one. That's a strike. It's Barone looking to get out of this one. This one's hit well. That'll get under the glove of the third baseman. Ibarra couldn't make the play. And this has been a pretty sure fielding infield through that first game. But Braylon Thomas just rifled that one past him. Ruiz up to second. Andrew Cyphers now to the plate. On deck is Porras. Ball one. It's the seventh batter of the inning for New Tech. With two outs. Cyphers looking for his first hit of the day. That one catches at the outside part of the plate for strike one. Cypher is 0 for 3 today. Did have some solid contact. A couple fly outs into center field as he hits this one well. Diving stop not made. They're going to wave around the runner. The throw home is not going to be in time. That'll get away. The runners will advance 90 more feet each. So a single that stretched into a double on the throw, and Andrew Cyphers gets the RBI. Matt Ruiz comes home from second. Braylon Thompson, or Thomas advances first to third. Cyphers gets the single, and as we said, advances on the throw. It's 3 to nothing in favor of the Titans. Camden Porras going to hit here. They're going to have a meeting at the mound. It looks like they're going to change pitchers. Let's see who they've got on the mound now. Won't be Anthony Barone, that's for sure, even though he was excellent today. They've got him out in left field. So now to the mound. Is that 15? Looks like it's number 16, so it'll be Mauricio Nolasco Rodriguez. He was playing short. So the starting pitcher, Barone, goes uh, two-thirds of an inning. And the two men, of course, on will be uh, assigned to him. He gives up three runs. He gives up four hits, all singles, one walk. He had a strikeout. And the other out was a ground out to third base. So he goes two and a third. Or he goes two thirds. And that'll bring up Nolasco Rodriguez. We'll see what he looks like on the mound. He'll get his cuts in now. A few practice pitches from him. That brings up Camden Porras.
Camden was 0 for 2 with a walk in the first game that we had today. As the lights are on. And even still, I don't actually think... I'm not sure if these lights are uh, bright enough to keep the game going. It might be. It's already pretty dark out there now as Porus takes the first pitch for a strike. Going a solid 20 minutes or so so far. As that one misses. Looks like they're going to shift Barone out to shortstop. It's now two balls and a strike to Camden Porras. Get a, get a look at that in a minute. So takes that one for a strike. Two balls, two strikes. Here's the pitch. That'll miss outside. Count goes full. As Nolasco Rodriguez with the full count going to try and get out of the second inning or of the first inning of the game here. He can't do it. He loses his first batter on balls. So in the first inning, after getting one hit through six innings, the New Tech Titans have batted around, and Jonathan Maldonado comes to the plate, the left fielder, as the uh, the ninth batter of the inning. Maldonado swings at that one. And Maldonado knows they're going to be throwing strikes to him because they don't have anywhere to put him as the bases are loaded here with two outs in the bottom of the first. Foul tips that one. He's down 0-2 very quickly. That one misses. The Lasco Rodriguez was halfway off the mound. He liked the location of that one. It's one and two. Good take from Aldonado. Now the one two. Ooh, that one missed high. Not sure who that was. I think Maldonado has gotten lucky twice. Ibarra will be on deck in the top half of the second after this. But Maldonado at the plate now with two balls and two strikes. The pitch from Nolasco Rodriguez. Got him. Swing and a miss. But not before. New Tech. They pick up three runs in the bottom of the first inning. A starter. They're able to knock him out of the game. Not even through one, but Mauricio Nolasco Rodriguez gets out of it without any more damage. It's three to nothing in favor of the Maynard New Tech Titans. We will be right back after this. Bike Live, formerly K Max Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at bikebyp.com. Bike is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3 13. Again, another verse. Breaking tackles, dives in the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds. Really close at the corner. What takes the Wilson? She fires the three. Oh my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull a hit by one. Log on to bikebyp.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. 
It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. Hey, buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to Vipe, B-Y-P-E dot com and hit Find Your School to see what Vipe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vipe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at Vipe, B-Y-P-E dot com. Back in here for the top of the second. And it's Adrian Ibarra who will get things going. He'll try and cut into this deficit. But it all starts with getting the leadoff man on. This top of the second inning is brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors as Ibarra takes that first pitch for a strike. Academy Sports and Outdoors gear up this spring at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Ibarra hits this one through the infield. That's a base hit. Second hit of the game for Eastside Memorial. Brings up number 23, Jose Mares. Mares playing first base. He's got the opportunity to advance a runner here with nobody out in the top of the second. A trail by three. It's a throw over. Ooh, almost got him there, but just barely. Once again, the designated fielder in the game is Malachi Mathis at third base. Got that with Ruiz hitting in the game and easily DHing. He takes that one foul. Take a moment here. Looking to avoid being the first strikeout of the game as this one skips in the dirt. It's a ball. Can't afford to surrender another base runner here with nobody out. And of course the double play opportunity is still very much in order. One more strike solves all the problems. That one misses. The count is now full. Xavier Chavez on deck and in the 3-2 count it was hit well this could be two the flip over to one is not in time but the throw over is in time so the runner at second's okay Ibarra gets in there safely but a good throw over from Cyphers to get out number one, Mar Mares on the baseline. Brings up, as we said, Chavez. Go, 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 
So one out with a runner on second base. As that's a called strike to Chavez. So a weird instance, they don't get the lead runner, but they are able to get the second runner. I'm not sure how that goes in in the scorebook. So that one's felt a little bit of a jump scare. <laughs> Directly back to the camera. So now Chavez is going to have to fight. He hits this one. That's well struck, but that's going to that's going to lean foul. So he'll stay in with a two strike count. Good eye there from Chavez. He'll stay alive. It's cooled off in a big way here. No more trouble with gear overheating, at least. Pitch from Ruiz. That one misses outside. The runner's going to go. It didn't get away from the catcher, but he's able to get into third with the slide. So Ibarra with one out. He's on third. Chavez still has to get uh, has to get off the plate here. So that one was a ball. Two and two now. Count goes full. This has been an excellent at bat from Chavez. Payoff pitch misses. That's ball four. So now two on with one out. Brings up number 15, Victor Nunez. lead. Two runs do come across, but another fly out to left field for Anthony Barone ends the inning. They did it on a a hit, a walk, and a hit by pitch, a fielder's choice, and then another hit. So an eventful top half of the second for the East Side Panthers. We're going to go ahead and take a quick break. It'll be Mauricio Nolasco Rodriguez on the mound once again to start the bottom of the second when New Tech Titan Baseball continues in just a moment. Fight Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at FightBYPE.com. Fight is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3 for 13, not yet another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates the Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to FightBYPE.com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Back here for the bottom of the second inning, Jack Farrell joining you here on what has turned into a doubleheader between the East Side Memorial Panthers and the New Tech Titans. In our first game, the Titans just needed a win, and they were into the playoffs, but uh, East Side Memorial was going to have none of that. They won the first game at 9-2, to two, and uh, the New Tech Titans were no hit. Or not no hit. They were uh, only had one hit through the first six innings of the ball game but they quickly jumped out to a 3 to nothing lead in the bottom of the first. 
They batted around there in the first inning. So it's going to be Jackson Williams to lead things off. Got things going in the first inning with a single. Mauricio Nolasco Rodriguez came in after seven batters. And he walked one and struck out another. He gets Williams swinging at a, uh, at a pitch here for strike one. So a good start for the Panther pitcher. Looking for his first full inning. That one will get by him, but making the play from short, the throw over is not in time. A great play, but too much speed for Jackson Williams, and that's an infield single to start things off. Two for two today for the leadoff man. Stewart to the plate now. He's one for one as well. Had a single. He chops this one foul down the third base line. So a swinging strike for Darius Stewart to get things going. Williams will have to head back to first base there. Took off running. New Tech, the home team for the tiebreaker now as well. And again, he's around early on it. Two strikes now to Darius Stewart. Daniel Alden Cortinas is the on-deck hitter. The 0-2 to Darius Stewart. He's going to miss outside. The throw is not in time. So uh, Jackson Williams gets another stolen base. And now a runner at second with nobody out. Looking to extend the lead here in the bottom of the second. Could have a high scoring ball game here. Neither pitcher has been able to uh, keep the bats off the ball here. The breaking ball misses. First ball to Darius Stewart. He has to defend this one off, but he punches it the other way, and that's going to drop in. That's a fair ball and another base hit. Two for two for Darius Stewart. That brings Jackson Williams over one bag. Brings up the big fella, Daniel Alden Cortinas. He has not gotten a hit today. He's 0 for 1 in this specific game. He was 0 for 2 in the last, but did reach on a hit by pitch in the first inning. Swings at the first pitch and fouls it back. As now we got some clouds coming in. Looks like could be a uh, could be some rain later on. Hopefully we can get through enough of this so we can avoid even more rain delays. As he takes that one outside and the runner's going to go. No throw, and he's just going to walk into second base. So now runners at second and third with nobody out. Can't afford to just get lazy like that. And this is quite literally a winner-go-home scenario. Whoever wins this goes to the playoffs. Whoever loses this is done for the year. As this one is roped into left field, that's going to get down over the head of the left fielder, and that's going to roll all the way to the wall. Two runs will score with ease. And Alden Cortinas is going to be in there for a no-out stand-up double. And the magic continues for the Titans early on in the tiebreaker. So after getting out of the first inning in the relief appearance, Nolasco Rodriguez is having a hard time getting guys out. And now we've got two more on the board. It's now 5-2 to two in the bottom of the second. Williams and Stewart scamper home on the two-RBI double. 
by Alden Cortinas. Brings up Caden Easley. He was K'd up in the last game, or in his last appearance. Easley did have a hit in the last game. Was the one hit that we talked about for a long, long time. See, hits that one hard, but chops it. Play there at short is going to be in time, so one out, but not until the runner advances. And it looks like Cortinas, uh, Alden Cortinas is out of the game now. He's the catcher, so he's pinch hit for. It's number eight, Jaden Davenport. We saw him pinch run in the last game as well, so he's now at third base. Easily on the ground out after a hard hit ball to short. But once again, some good did come out of it. That's just the first out. The runner advances, brings up the pitcher, Matt Ruiz. Ruiz walked his last time. He came around to score as well. That right, one's going to go low. So now two balls and no strikes to Matt Ruiz. Hitters count for the pitcher. He's got a great opportunity to bring home the a runner at third here. With one on and one out here in the second. And he might just do that. This one's roped into center field. The tag, Davenport coming home. The throw hit him, but I don't think that's going to matter. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's that's fine if it hit him. It hit, it hit the back of his leg as he was sliding in. The catcher wasn't there to make the play. He was safe. So no uh, no interference or anything called there as Davenport comes in to score the run on the sacrifice fly for Matt Ruiz. So that makes it six to nothing. Or excuse me, six to two. Pay attention. As Jaden Davenport is the pinch runner. So this one's popped up and unable to make the play is Castillo Perez. One and one. Braylon Thomas singled his last time up. He takes that one outside. It's two and one. This one popped up. That'll be tough. And that'll get down. Kind of looped in between short and center field. Shortstop Barone, he probably could have made the play, but that's tough. And once again, a great inning. Continues. For the New Tech Titans, brings up Andrew Cyphers, who's one for one on the day with a single. Ooh, that one hung out over the plate, and he just missed it. You got one to Cyphers. Once again, just missed that one. That's fouled off. It's 0 2. Thomas at first. 
Nothing in two. Two away here in the bottom of the second inning. We have time. Cyphers, they award him the time there. It was a little bit late. Pitcher was almost in his motion, but not quite. Got him chasing outside of the zone. That's strike number three, and that'll end the inning. That's what happens when you go down 0-2 at the chase, but the Titans add to the lead. They get three more across, doubling it up. Three runs apiece so far in each inning. It's 6-2. We head to the top of the third. It will be the two, three, and four hitters due up for Eastside Memorial. Until then, we'll be right back. Fight Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at FightVYPE.com. Fight is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 13 again, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates the Wilson, she fires the three. Oh, my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to FightVYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com. Into our third frame in the tiebreaker. Maynard leads 6-2 to two as the bats have come alive. Couldn't get anything in the first game. It's another testament to how well Anthony Barone pitched as it just hasn't been there in this one. Already seven hits through the first two. So that's a recipe for a long game, a lot of offense. Pretty quick first, but a pretty long second inning for the Panthers. They were able to score two. Now, Matt Ruiz on the mound once again, going to try and get out of a quick third inning. So it's starting to get pretty dark out here. So here's the pitch from Ruiz. That one's going to skip in the dirt. One ball, no strikes. It's the two-hitter, Lorenzo Barone, who was also the starting pitcher in the game. He went uh, two-thirds of an inning. That one finds the plate, strike one. The pitch, swing and a miss. So Ruiz has got Barone down in the count, a ball and two strikes. That one skips in the dirt, 2-2. Two -two. Nolasco Rodriguez, the new pitcher, is on deck. Three-two. Danger of walking the leadoff man would be the second inning in a row that the leadoff man reached against Ruiz. The payoff is hit weakly. This is going to be a tough play. Ruiz, the throw is going to be off the glove. Barone going to try and go for two. Oh, thought better of it. That's smart. Call that an infield single. Some weak contact after a good at-bat. Brings up Nolasco Rodriguez. Mauricio grounded to short his last time up. That one misses strike one, or ball one, excuse me. 
It's a long day for all of us. So a ball with no strikes. No one misses high and tight for ball two. That one finds his own. That's Gibson in the dirt. The runner's going to advance. So Barone to second with nobody out. Three balls, one strike. Fouled off. We will continue. Steps off. Here's the pitch again. Popped him up. Ruiz getting underneath it, looking for it, finds it. Guy lost it. So no one can get outs today. And that will go in as an E1. Dropping the pop-up. So Nolasco Rodriguez v reaches via an error, and it brings up Adrian Ibarra. Now two on with nobody out here in the third. Strike one to Ibarra. This one popped up. We'll see if they can make the play. Well, they call the infield fly rule on this one. So Ibarra goes down as the first out of the inning. Pops it up. Brings up Jose Mares. He grounded out his last time up. Double play still very much in order. Could get out of this thing unscathed. Runner goes. The throw was never going to be in time. But they throw it anyway, and now the runner's going to go from third to home, and then the runner's going to go from second to third. And that one also was didn't need to make that throw either. So one run scores. It's now six to three. So Maris back to the plate with now one runner on just at third. He takes that one for strike. Misses high. Chase the runner back to third. I don't think he's much of a threat to steal at this point unless the ball gets away. This one fouled off. This 
Since we've lost the sun here, you're in for a night game. Two strikes on Mades. Here's the pitch. That's going to miss. He'll stay. Ruiz in danger of issuing a walk here. <coughs> The pitch count's got to be getting getting pretty high up there for Ruiz. This one's belted into right center field and unable to make the play. That's going to fall in. Run scores. Uh, Mares into second. It's got to be a frustrating game if you're a coach. As they're going to go check on Ruiz at the bound here, brings up Chavez, the left fielder. Excuse me, the center fielder. So as they talk to Ruiz at the mound, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break. It's six to four with Eastside Memorial threatening. Fight live. Max Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at FightBYPE.com. Fight is the leader in high school sports broadcast. We've been doing it for 15 years. 30 13. Again, another reverse. Breaking tackles. Dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds. Really close up the corner. Rotates the Wilson. She fires the three. Oh, my God. It went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to FightBYPE.com. One out here in the top of the third. As we are about an hour into this one. Uh, Maris on second base, just doubled. Is that a taken strike to Chavez? As that one was right down the middle. That's 0-2, Chavez, that'll be a foul ball. Nunez on deck. The 0-2. That one's hit higher into the air. This one also foul. New Tech unable to go over and make the play. So the at-bat will continue. Another 0-2 pitch. This one hit foul again. Another O2. That one misses downstairs, now one and two. Two balls, two strikes. Another foul ball. Hey, 
as both pitcher, every pitcher so far in this game has just had a heck of a time getting anybody out. So he'll step off the mound. I don't think Marius is a running threat there at second. That one misses. 3 2. It's been a, he a heck of a at, at bat so far for Chavez. Trying to keep things going. It's popped up. No guarantees. That one's good. No one covering second base. So he's he, you still haven't tagged second base. Matis is still there at second base. He has yet to tag. <laughs> I don't think he's ever going to. So after that great A-B, Chavez just pops it up to catcher. It's out number two, brings up Nunez. That one misses way outside, ball one. Nunez was plunked his last time up. He was over four in the first game as well. Two balls, no strikes to him. Three zero. Mateo Castillo Perez is on deck. Is that strike one? Swing and a miss. The count's back to full. So from 3-0 to 3-2 very quickly on Nunez, who is looking for his first hit of the day. Swing and a miss, got him for strike three, and the inning's over. Two more runs score for Eastside Memorial, but they still trail. It's six to four as we head to the bottom of the third inning. We'll be right back. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcast. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vipe.com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Hey buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to VIPEBYPE.com and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at VIPEBYPE.com. Here we are, bottom of the third, and what has been a very long game so far. We got started at around 7.20, 7.25. As we are now in for the bottom of the third, it's been high scoring. Neither pitcher has been able to get very many outs, a lot of errors already on both sides. It's 
It's been a messy game on the defensive end for both teams. But uh, this is Camden Porras who walked his first time in the game. And this time he's going to get a line out to short. Nice play by Lorenzo Barone. He'll take out number one on a well-hit ball. I couldn't quite find the gap. Brings up Maldonado. Struck out his last time up. Jonathan is 0 for 4 on the day. So he takes this pitch outside for ball one. Get the gloves adjusted. Back in for Maldonado. Huge open hole in the infield here. You can see it on the screen, that big gap between short and second base. That's going to find the zone strike one. Now a ball and a strike to Maldonado. The top of the order has been lethal for the Titans in this game so far. Combined five for six. So that's going to miss outside. It's another inning of work for Mauricio Nolasco Rodriguez. He's got the first one quickly, and he's struggling here with the nine-hole hitter, Maldonado. That misses upstairs. It's three and one. Three one, that finds the plate. Count goes full with one out here. Williams is on deck. A pair of singles for him today. Maldonado, looking to avoid his fourth K of the game or of the day, second of the game. And he can't. Got him looking. Maldonado. Showing some hesitation there in the nine spot, swinging the bat today. That's his second strikeout looking. But back to the top of the order. It's Jackson Williams with the two outs. He singled and he scored two runs. No RBI opportunities for him so far today as he's let off both of the innings that he's hit in. As the Titans did bat around in the first. This one's going to skip in the dirt. Ball one to the leadoff man. Darius Stewart also with a pair of singles is on deck. Fouls that one off. Ball and a strike now to number two. This one's chopped back to the pitcher. And after a combined three runs or three runs each in the first and second innings, a quick one, two, three situation to get out of the bottom of the third. And now the East Side Memorial Panthers, who have uh, scored in the second and third innings, with the opportunity to take the lead now as we enter the top of the fourth. We'll be right back. Fight Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at FightBYPE.com. Fight is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3-13, again, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, Philly really pulls up the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh, my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to FightBYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. 
It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Hey, buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to Vibe, B-Y-P-E dot com and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at Vibe, B-Y-P-E dot com. Back in it for the top of the fourth inning. We've got a myriad of uh, defensive substitutions to uh, t- keep track of here in just a minute. So, yes, top of the fourth. It'll be 8 9 1 hitters due up for the East Side Memorial Panthers. And let's take you through some of those defensive substitutions. First of all, Matt Ruiz, his day is done. He goes three full innings, four runs are scored. At, uh, on his watch, but not for earned. Not sure how many of his runs are earned. A lot of uh, issues in the field today for the Titans. Make it a little sticky. (coughs) But after three innings, the new pitcher will be the former center fielder, Jackson Williams. As his first uh, pitch misses low and inside for ball one. Matt Ruiz, he'll move over to second base. And from second base, Andrew Cyphers will move over to center field. And uh, from center field to the mound goes Jackson Williams. Jackson now down down 2-0 in the count to Mateo Castillo-Perez, who reached uh, on a fielder's choice in the second inning, did record an out. Still looking for his first hit of the day. That one skips... In the dirt, again, it's three balls and no strikes as Williams is having some control troubles with his first batter. It'll be Nico Reyes who's on deck. That one caught the bottom part of the zone. Looked like a four-pitch walk. Castillo Perez looking to reach the third straight leadoff hitter, but this will be a chopper to second base. Ruiz gets the glove on it. The throw over is in time for out number one. It's always a good sign when you're a pitcher who can go down 3-0 and still pick up that out. So a ground out to second base brings up Nico Reyes. One out hitter. Reyes takes the first pitch for a strike. He singled his last time up. That was in the second inning. Takes that one outside for a ball. It's a ball and uh, and a strike. Barone, who's uh, not had the same luck he did in the first game. That one got a piece of Reyes, and Reyes looked confused. I, so it, if the batter is confused while you're telling him to go to, to first base on a hit-by-pitch, it uh, might not be a hit-by-pitch. So grazing of Nico Reyes is uh, one man is aboard here. With one out in the top of the fourth. That one's going to miss downstairs on Barone. 
Barone in the first game, he reached four separate time or three separate times via error. He reached safely four times. He walked the other time. He's flown out to left field twice today, though. Or excuse me, twice in this game specifically. Barone's been getting a hold of him. He just hasn't been able to find those gaps. So this one's going to miss outside as Williams is having a hard time throwing strikes. So Reyes reaches safely in his first two bats of the game. As that one gets the bottom part of the zone, strike one. Two balls, one strike. Skips in the dirt. Gets away from the catcher. The runner goes. You just got to swallow that one. So they get Reyes across. Now three balls and one strike to Barone. In danger of giving another batter a free base. Is that one definitely in the zone? Took that one center cut. Taken on the 3-1 pitch. Count goes full. Runner at second. One out here at the top of the fourth. As that one got away, the runner's going to head. So he walks him. Reyes moves to third, and now it's Lorenzo Barone who singled his last time up. He's two for two today. And in the game today, the Titans have not had a clean inning. Runner has reached in all four innings now. Is Barone going to head down? They tried to get the runner at third. That's going to skip away, and he's going to head home. So now just a one-run game on another throwing error from the Titans. So Barone has an easy path to second, and then the throw to third was just off of the off of the runner himself, and he had a free pass to home plate. So another unforced error is a free base and a free run for the East Side Memorial Panthers. That one's outside, got away. Another free bag. And Alden Cortinas is just he's having a he's having a time behind the plate today. Fouled back. This one's hit well on to third base. Runner's going to go. The throw home is not in time. We have a tie game. So Barone into the fielder's choice. Brings home uh, the other Barone. And now we have Mauricio Nolasco Rodriguez up who uh, reached the last time via an error. So two runs in every inning but the first for Eastside Memorial. That's going to be another ball outside. Another pitch that gets away from the catcher.
Fouled back. Williams back to the rubber. Here's the pitch. Base hit. That's just a single, and there's nobody on the base paths. But the two-out rally continues. Well, the two-out rally begins. They just got the second out. But that brings up Adrian Ibarra. Swing and a miss for Ibarra. There's two outs. Two runs have scored in the inning so far for the Panthers. That misses in the dirt. Gets away from the catcher. Throw down is not in time. So Nolasco Rodriguez up to second and another runner in scoring position, Ibarra, with a chance to get the lead. It's going to miss high and inside. That finds the outside part of the zone for another strike. It's a beautiful breaking ball. And that just misses high, I suppose. That's going to miss way outside. He's pulling a lot of these. Another throw down. And the catcher yelling at the third baseman. But it was a bad throw. And that's another walk. So once again, no, no pitcher having any easy time getting any outs today. And this very, very long game is going to continue. Another throw down, and another throw that's going to get away. I don't, I don't know what they're doing out there. The Titans are just playing a bad, terrible, terrible day on defense. Just so many free runs and so many free bases. And now that runner got to third for free, and then a run comes home for free. And the Titans are losing. They are at their own hands blowing this game right now. They, I mean, they are just throwing every ball just so far away into the outfield, into the dugout. I just, that's going to be a hit by pitch as the wheels are really coming off. Brings up Xavier Chavez, who popped out his last time up after an incredible at bat. So a meeting at the mound, maybe another pitching change. We'll go ahead and take a break. Hey, buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to Vipe, B-Y-P-E dot com and hit Find Your School to see what Vipe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vipe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at Vipe, B-Y-P-E dot com. 
as that throw is going to pull uh, the first baseman off the bag, and the inning will continue. Uh, an error on the throw. And the inning of terror, this top of the fourth, is going to keep going. So Ibarra will score. Amadis into third. And Chavez on the infield single and the error reaches second base. So the inning will continue. Hit high into the air into center field. Cyphers doesn't have it. And the inning's going to keep going. Two more runs will score. So Mares comes in to score. And Chavez comes in to score. And Nunez is on first base with an E8. Brings up Mateo Castillo Perez, who led off the inning with a ground out. That's fouled off. As the score is now 10 to 6. Six runs have scored in the inning. This is the 10th batter of the inning. So this one's hit. Playable at short. The throw over to second is finally going to do it. So six runs score. The Titans find themselves now in a pretty deep four-run hole after after surrendering six. And that's on everybody. That's on the pitching. That's certainly on the fielding. But the Titans with another opportunity to uh, get some more runs on the board. It'll be the two, three, four hitters due up. I'd like to thank the fine folks at uh, Academy Sports and Outdoors for sponsoring us on the Vipe Network. You can get free shipping on your favorite brands at academy.com or get free curbside or in-store pickup at your Academy store. Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VibeVYPE.com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 313, again, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh, my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull a hit by one. Log on to VibeVYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Darius Stewart leading things off here in the bottom of the fourth. That one's way outside for ball one. Six run top of the fourth has given Eastside Memorial a pretty comfortable lead here. That's a swing and a miss, a ball and a strike. Or rather, foul tipped it, but the result's the same. It's a strike.
chopped foul. Reyes can't get over there, so that's two strikes. Stewart one for two on the day. Or excuse me, two for two on the game uh, today here. He was 0 for 2 in the first with a walk. And in the second, he's 2 for 2 with a pair of singles and a pair of runs scored. Chopper. Foul. Two and two. Stewart looking to get things going to lead off the bottom of the fourth. And he hits one hard and drifting foul. Reyes can't get the play. So Stewart staying alive on a two two. Nolasco Rodriguez out there again. He's been pretty good after he had a bit of a rocky stretch in the second inning. But he's been locked down since then, a three up, three down third. As that one's going to miss the outside corner. Count goes full. Alden Cortinas on deck. Foul ball will continue. This one's hit well. And a diving catch made out in center field. Xavier Chavez laying out to get that one. That's out number one. Brings up Alden Cortinas, who uh, doubled with two RBIs his last time up. Titans trail by four. So that one misses downstairs for ball one. This one popped up. That'll get out of play. So with the foul ball, counts one and one. Chopper, third base, that's going to get under the glove of the first baseman, and that's going to be an infield single with one out here in the bottom of the fourth. So that'll bring up Caden uh, Easley, the DH. Yeah. 
Runner scampers back. It's going to be Davenport again. Pinch run uh, at a pinch running opportunity as this one is hit well. That'll get down into left field. Davenport screaming around second, heads for third. And I think that's a ground rule double. Looks like that one bounces over the fence on easily. And he gets his first base hit of the game. And now there's runners at second, and unfortunately, Davenport will have to hold up there at third as it bounces over the fence. Runners at second and third now with one out. Brings up Matt Ruiz, the uh, former pitcher turned second baseman. As Davenport was on his way around, but I think with the with the rules of the ground rule double, I think he is going to be stuck there at third regardless. Still with plenty of cushion, you can afford to give up at least one here. Just worry about getting the outs. But Ruiz might not let him as he belts this one into the gap and running over to make the play, but not before a run will score. Nice job out in right field, Nico Reyes. So they do get one of the outs. So Ruiz goes down, but not before a sack fly RBI brings in Davenport, who was pinch running for Alden Cortinas. Easily tags. Now Braylon Thomas with a chance to bring home another runner here with two outs. Strike one. Braylon Thomas, he's two for two today with a pair of singles. And they still trail by three here in the fourth. That one's hit on the infield. Play is unable to be made, so the run will score. Barone, that one popped under his glove, so that's three straight singles for Braylon Thomas in this game. Four straight hits in uh, his at-bats for Braylon Thomas going back to last game. So a good way for him to end his season if it does come to that. But now it's eight or ten to eight with Andrew Cyphers coming to the plate. He's one for two with a single and a strikeout. So the Titans get a couple back. Cyphers, that's hook and foul, and it's strike one. Porus on deck. We are already nearly two hours into this ball game. Swing and a miss, 0-2. Hey, Nothing in two to Cyphers. And this one's poked over the infield. Going from first to third, the throw will not be in time. It gets away, and they'll hold him. So another hit for Andrew Cyphers in the game.
As looks like we have a injury there at third base. We're going to go ahead and take a quick break. Bite Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at BiteBYPE.com. Bite is the leader in high school sports broadcast. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3 13. Again, another reverse. Breaking tackles. Dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds. Really close up the corner. Rotates the Wilson. She fires the three. Oh, my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull a hit by one. Log on to BiteBYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcast. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com back in it looks like uh, Braylon Thomas will be done for the day it's three for three four straight hits and that may end his season he left both games he uh, had an issue sliding and that brings in Davey and Halloway I'm not sure if he's just going to be a pinch runner we'll, we'll let you know uh, we'll see who's at first base uh, here in the fifth Camden Porras comes up with two outs with a chance to tie it We've got two back so far, two runners in scoring position. Porus walked and lined out to short. That was his last time up. Takes the first pitch outside. That's ball one. Ball and no strikes to Porus. Takes that one inside, ball two. Two balls, no strikes. To the eight-hole hitter playing in right field. Maldonado, the on-deck man, looks like they'll have a pinch hitter for him. He takes that one, that's strike one. The 2-1. Strike two. Porus O for one. Looking at a two two pitch from Nolasco Rodriguez. Here's the delivery. Chopped foul. It'll be out of play. Still 2-2 count. Got him looking, strike three. So the Titans get two back. They still trail 8-10 as we head to the top of the fifth inning. We'll be right back. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals. Academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vipevype.com. Vibe Live. Hey, buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. 
Go to VibeVYPE.com and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at VibeVYPE.com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VibeVYPE.com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcast. We've been doing it for 15 years. 313, again, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close at the corner. Rotates the Wilson, she fires the three. Oh, my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull a hit by one. Log on to VibeVYPE.com. Fifth inning. It'll be Nico Reyes leading things off for the Panthers. We got a new pitcher. It's Malachi Mathis. He's been playing third base all day. Hasn't gotten any hits in, but now he's going to be the pitcher. Maybe he can get some outs. Ten runs scored in the last three innings for the East Side Memorial Panthers who are very serious about making a playoff bid here. Mathis's first pitch over the plate, strike one. Reyes, He's one for two or one for one today. He also reached on a hit by pitch. And that one hit him too. Okay. So another hit by pitch. It's the third one Reyes has gotten today, second in this game. And they've got a base runner with nobody out. Brings up Tony Barone. Walked his last time up. He's 0 for 2. Top of the lineup. That's a strike. Strike two. Barone quickly down in the count. At least six batters have gone to the plate for Eastside Memorial in three of the four innings so far. Uh, Popped up on the left. third base side. Ruiz makes the play. Oh, yeah. By the way, uh, got some defensive substitutions for you. Ruiz moves over to uh, third base from second. From uh, third base to the pitcher's mound goes Malachi Mathis, and from the pitcher's mound to second base goes Jackson Williams. Swing and a miss. So Barone, down in the count. Punches this one into left field, but Maldonado leaps up and makes the play. He ran up on it a little far, but if it works, it works. Marley, 
as that will bring up Mauricio Nolasco Rodriguez. His last time up was a single in the, four, uh, the fourth inning. Is that strike one? So after plunking the first batter, Mathis has been able to figure something out. He's got the last two. Now Nolasco Rodriguez, who has reached safely in uh, two of his plate appearances today. He is one for three. In the, se in the third inning, he reached on an error. Most of the errors in this game for the Titans have not been on uh, simple throwovers, although there have been a few of those. They've been on a lot of stolen base attempts as this one's popped up, and that's going to be out of play. But that is another strike on the hitter at the plate here. He'll be defensive going forward in the at-bat. As this would be the first clean inning as in uh, no runs coming across. Scoreless inning, I should say, as this is not a clean inning with a runner on first base here. First scoreless inning since the first. They have yet to have a, a completely clean inning as the throw over is not in time. In the first, they did face uh, only three batters, but Lorenzo Barone was caught uh, in between second and third. This one skips the throw down. Yep, good call. Just eat that. There you go. Learn. Learn from your mistakes. That's the best. I've had a few uh, instances of trying to force in a throw after a runner was probably going to be safe regardless, no matter how good you threw it. And on those, you just kind of have to say, bummer, really good jump from the guy out there on the bases. As that's fouled off, as Nolasco Rodriguez is staying alive. So Nico Reyes into second base on the steal after being hit as the leadoff man. Hitting back-to-back -back ABs and back-to-back -back innings. As this one's poked and recovered at shortstop. The throw over will be in time. Nice play by Darius Stewart getting down on a knee, making the throw over for a four batter inning, the second shortest of the game so far, and now the Titans with an opportunity to take the lead in the bottom of the fifth. We're gonna go ahead and take a quick break, and for the Titans, it'll be nine, one, and two due up. We'll be right back. Fight Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at FightBYPE.com. Fight is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3 for 13, not yet another verse. Breaking tackles, dives in the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close at the corner. What takes the Wilson? She fires the three. Oh my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull a hit by one. Log on to FightBYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com. Hey buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to VibeBYPE.com and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at VibeBYPE.com. And now back in for the bottom of the fifth inning. For the New Tech Titans, it will be Jonathan Maldonado. Oh, no, we have a pinch hitter, actually. It will be number six, Carlos Hoover, in at the nine spot. Maldonado exits the game with a pair of strikeouts. Yeah, 
Hoover now in. As that one misses. So Carlos, we saw him uh, on the in the on deck circles. The count is now one and one. But now he's getting his opportunity to get some swings, and he looks to uh, be the leadoff man to get on as his team trails by two with just nine outs remaining. So that one misses outside. It's Nolasco Rodriguez who will be out here for another inning of work, two balls and one strike to the nine hitter. That is going to miss outside for ball three. Hoover. One pitch away from a leadoff walk. Won't be here as he punches that one foul. That was going to be pretty much right down the middle anyway. So the count goes full. Three and two to the leadoff man, Hoover. Here's the pitch. Is that one slapped out of play over on the right field side? So the batter stays alive, and we're going to do it all over again. There's another 3-2. Here's the delivery. And that is going to miss the outside corner. It's ball four. A heavy reaction from the... Memorial fans, but that was several inches outside. So I can see why that might be their perspective. They are over there on the first base side, and that missed just outside, just a few inches off the plate. So Hoover reaches on a walk as the leadoff hitter. That will bring up Jackson Williams, and this is the part of the order that these folks are going to want up as uh, Hoover is going to be pinch hit for Looks like that looks like Maldonado out there on the base paths. Guess you can have him pinch run. So Hoover draws the walk. Matthew or Williams, excuse me, gets the bunt down. The throw over is just in time, but the runner gets over. It's out number one. Runner now at second. Brings up Darius Stewart. Stewart is also two for three on the day. A pair of singles, but in the fourth inning, his last time up, he flew out to center field. As Williams back to the dugout. Stewart with a chance to bring his team in within run uh, one more run. Excuse me. One misses outside. Alden Cortinas is on deck. He's hit back to back at bats. Double and then a single. But for now, there's a ball and no strikes. Ooh, that'll catch the inside part of the zone. Stewart doesn't like the call, but it's a ball and a strike to him. That's punched through. That'll get through the infield a base hit. And they'll have to hold Maldonado there at third. So he'll Yep, he'll stay put. Stewart. A good day for him continues. He's three for four with three singles. Brings up Alden Cortinas, the three hitter. Had some power from him today. 
And Easley will be on deck with the double play ball now in order. And with the way that the Panthers have played on defense, that's definitely a possibility. He'll step in, a big righty, pitched in the last game. So he takes that one outside. Nolasco Rodriguez. The runner goes, incredible jump as this one's punched into right field. The runner might have to go back, and he will. The throw over to first base is not going to be in time, but the runner's going to tag and score. So Maldonado gets the run. And it's now a one-point game. Stewart had a heck of a time, and he was almost caught as he uh, tried to steal. It was a hit and run, but... Alden Cortinas couldn't get it down, so that's an F9 for him. Two outs, one run scores. Actually, that'll go down as a sack fly, excuse me. So it's 9 to 10. As this is a long day of baseball. First game started at 5. It was a normal game, pretty short, less than two hours. The second game started at about 7.20. We're at 9.30 here with really no end in sight. Is that strike one to easily? This is going to be at least four hours of baseball for these guys today. It already has been. We're already well over two hours into this thing. These kids may end up playing about five hours of ball by the time all things are said and done. This one's hit foul. Stewart trying to get his jump on, but he hasn't had the opportunity. But it's just a one-run game, and if Easley puts something deep enough, showed off that power with his double in the fourth inning. Each of these teams with six more outs apiece. Well, the Titans do have that seventh that they're working on right now. But a ball and two strikes to easily. Panthers are going to try and add some more, get some insurance here in the tops of the sixth and seventh innings. Got him looking. So Mauricio Nolasco Rodriguez has been pretty solid in relief, except for the second inning. As now we head to the top of the sixth. A pretty quick fifth inning. Is this long night? He's going to keep marching. It'll be the same pitcher. It'll be Malachi Mathis to get a second full inning in. For the Panthers, after getting the leadoff man on, they went down in order. So for them, it'll be Adrian Ibarra to lead things off. It'll be four, five, and six. And then... No uh, defensive substitutions except for one, I believe. We've got a new young man over at first base after delete the game. All right. Here is the uh, new lineup for the new Tech Titans. It's Davenport out in right field. Porus has been moved to second base. Cyphers has been moved to first base, which he's been all around the field today. And then Jackson Williams has been punched out to center field.
So he's back where he started today. Darius Stewart still rocking it at the shortstop position. Ruiz still back there at uh, third base. Otherwise, we've got some shifting around, but let's see if Malachi Mathis can do a no hitter has a uh, or no pitcher has done through this game and get through a completely clean inning for the New Tech Titans. In fact, they haven't had a single completely uh, clean, a completely uh, three up, three down inning in either of the two games today. So we head into the top of the sixth. It'll be Ibarra leading things off. He takes the first pitch on the outside corner of the plate for strike one. It is Midas on deck and Chavez behind him. That one's hit a million feet into the air, but easily going to go foul. But Ibarra punched that. Ibarra is one for two today. Last time up in the fourth inning, he walked. He had a single back in the second. Also had a pop out in the third inning. He takes that one for ball one. So a ball and two strikes to the four hitter Ibarra. Foul ball. That one misses outside. This one's popped up. That's into the stands. And that'll get over the stands, actually. <laughs> Got him swinging. So just the second strikeout of the day by a Panther hitter in this second game. And just the fourth strikeout by them overall. So Ibarra goes down on K's. And that will bring up Maris, the second hitter. Breaking ball misses high. That one's popped up. That'll get down. That one going to miss downstairs. This one hit on the ground to short. The throw over is in time for out number two. So a ground out for Mares brings up Chavez. Chavez is one for two on the day. His first at bat was a walk. His second was a pop out. And his third was a single. 
Singly stretched into a double on an air. Is that a miss? Ball one. Math is not sure about the location of that one. Fouled off. This one's hit high into the air in the left field, drifting over, and that's going to be a foul ball. So Chavez with another chance here. Here's the pitch. That's hit on the ground. Over to short. It's going to be a long throw, but in time for out number three. Darius Stewart has been cooking from shortstop today. Got two putouts in the top of the six, and now we head to the bottom of the sixth inning. It'll be five, six, and seven hitters due up for the New Tech Titans. It's not over yet. They trail by just one. We'll be right back. Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VIPE.com. VIPE is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3 for team. Again, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds. Really close up the corner. Rotates the Wilson. She fires the three. Oh, my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to VIPE, V-Y-P-E dot com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com. Here we are, bottom of the sixth. New Tech with an opportunity to take the lead here for the first time since the fourth inning. They led in this game six to four and have since given up the lead. It's ten to nine. And one thing of note in this game is Mauricio Nolasco Rodriguez came in with two outs in the first inning. The starting pitcher, Lorenzo Barone, only went seven batters in two-thirds of an inning. So after getting out of the first, these first three runs do not belong to Nolasco Rodriguez. Some of them, I believe, are unearned, but Anthony Barone definitely has a is in charge of those first three of the day. So six runs so far b being hung on the Lasco, uh, earned or otherwise. But it's Matt Ruiz with an opportunity to tie this thing up. Although he'll likely act as more of a setup man than anything. Not sure Matt has that home run power. Although I don't mean to doubt him. Great breaking ball to catch the outside of the plate. Strike one. So just six more outs for for New Tech. Just three more outs for the Panthers. That one, good job by Ruiz to lay off. Because now it's getting chilly out.
That'll miss for a ball. Two and one. It's Davenport now on deck. Davenport will come in for the injured Braylon Thomas. As this is a liner to third base and caught. So the defense for the Panthers has been excellent today. Especially on that right or left side of the infield. Those short stop in third base positions. This will be Jaden Davenport. Jaden, his first uh, hitting opportunity of the day. We've seen him a few times in a pinch running situation as he takes the first pitch for strike one. Cypher's on deck. Four or five more outs for the Titans. Davenport scores two runs in the game. And his pinch hit opportunities in the second and the fourth. However, he has uh, not had an opportunity to hit yet today in either of the two games. We saw him in both, though. This is his first time behind the plate. And he swings on this one. Weak contact, but with the speed, it's going to be a tough play. The throw over is in time. Another incredible play from shortstop. Lorenzo Barone lighting it up. Both of these shortstops cooking on defense. Some gold glove plays today. And Jaden Davenport going to head to the dugout. He had a great opportunity to get on there. And that will bring up somebody with a good amount of power. That's Andrew Cyphers. He doubled his last time up. He's one for three today. Or excuse me, two for three today. A single, a strikeout, and a double in that order. He looks to start a two-out rally here in the bottom of the sixth. And it's going to be a tough play from short, and in time, that's another ground out. Some great defense being played from shortstop today, as that'll bring up the seventh inning. Only three more outs for the Titans if they want to move on to the postseason. The Panthers going to try and add another insurance run here. But until then, it'll be Mathis for his third inning of work as we head to take another commercial break. It's the seventh inning. We'll be right back. Bike Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at BikeVYPE.com. Bike is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 313, back in, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close at the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh, my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to BikeVYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, VYPE.com. VYPE.com. It'll be Victor Nunez leading things off in the top of the seventh inning for the Eastside Memorial Panthers. They have a one to nothing lead. Is that one's going to catch the inside part of the plate? Is Nunez doesn't like the call. The zone, <laughs> as the game has progressed, the zone has steadily expanded, which I don't think is necessarily a bad strat from the umpire. 
as both of the, uh, these teams are having a hard time throwing strikes. This is uh, 14 full innings of baseball from them today over a span of about five hours. Swing and a miss. So a quick strikeout to get things going. And it's the seven, eight, nine hitters due up. So good opportunity for the Titans to get a clean inning. They've only had one across two games today. That being said, Ruiz, or excuse me, Mathis, Ruiz was the starter. Mathis in relief now uh, has retired as that one misses outside for a ball. Has retired now what? Seven straight. He plunked his first batter. That was Nico Reyes, the on-deck man. But after that, He's gotten seven in a row without anybody reaching safely. Swing and a miss. He's looking at a one and one here to Castillo Perez. Castillo Perez uh, hit twice in the fourth inning and he got out both times. So we grounded out to second for the first out and he grounded out to uh, short for the second out as that's in there for strike number two. It's a ball and two strikes. Maybe Mathis should have should have been on on the mound a little bit sooner. Certainly happened during that fourth inning where they gave up six runs. This one's fouled back, so he'll stay alive. And for the Titans, of course, I'm sure they will empty their bench of any good bats they have left, but it's the eight, nine, and one hitters due up. So if they can get one of those eight and nine guys on, it'll be a big opportunity for Williams, Stort, and Alden Cortinas to tie it and walk it off. That one misses. 2-2. Two, two. Reyes on deck. Got him looking. So that's out number two. Brings up Nico Reyes in a 10 to 9 ball game. I don't have a scoreboard on, so I can't check my work. As I'm just now realizing, but I'm about 99% sure that it's that it's 10 to 9, because that one is called strike one. This one's hit to short. Loses it, but got it back to throw over. And Cypher is uh, unable to get the pick there. That's just a tough play. That's an infield single. Uh, as great as Stewart has been, he's not going to get every single one of them, and that one took a nasty hop. So an infield single again for Nico Reyes, and he's reached safely all four times he's been up. A single, two hit by pitches, and then a single. Brings Anthony Barone up. As... They're trying to get the out on the base pass. You just got to worry about the guy behind the plate here. And there's two outs. If Reyes, if he wants to go for second, that's fine. You got to worry about Anthony Barone here. As he punches this one high into the air, Maldonado makes the play. So here we go. A great Great, great relief appearance for Malachi Mathis. He hits one and retires nine in a row to set up the New Tech Titans with an opportunity to walk this off in the ninth inning and, and achieve their first playoff berth as a new baseball team. So we'll see. I'm, sh I'm sure that the Panthers are going to try and trot out a new pitcher here. I think Nolasco Rodriguez, I'm sure he's getting tired. He's gone six innings now, six and a third. But no, they're going to rock with Mauricio Nolasco Rodriguez to try and get the save opportunity and send the East Side Memorial Panthers to the playoffs.
So now. So it's Nolasco Rodriguez. That's a taken strike. Porus has got to stop watching. He struck out looking his last time up, and now he has an opportunity to be the leadoff man to get on. Swing and a miss. That's two. Trying to get him low. So here's Porus trying to avoid a strikeout. Is that one a breaking ball of beauty just dropping into the zone to freeze him for out number one? We'll have Maldonado back in. Bringing him back in. Already hit today. He struck out twice. So Maldonado going to try and get on base. He watches that one miss outside. Jackson Williams. Going to come up on deck no matter what. Whether they get to Stewart and Alden Cortinas, we'll have to see. That one's going to skip low in the dirt. The 2-1. That's going to miss down. Or no, excuse me, that's the 2-0. That's now three balls, no strikes to a hitter. The, the, the tying run. And, and Maldonado today, he has just had a hard time at the plate. He's struck out four times today in two separate games. So he's up 3-0. I think Nolasco Rodriguez is, is feeling feeling a little pressure right now and he's got to be tired too I, I you mentioned it I didn't think he'd come out for uh for this seventh inning just with the amount of pitches he's thrown and how long he's gone in the game but for now Here's the pitch. It's on the way. And that might have caught the top of Maldonado's helmet, but regardless, it's a base on balls. So they've got the tying run aboard. So now we have Jackson Williams to the plate. As they try to get the pickoff, the runner's going to be able to advance. Maldonado to second, and now there's one away with the tying run on second. Now Jackson Williams with a huge opportunity as that ball got away and the runner advanced. Williams, he's two for four today, two singles, a ground out, and a sacrifice bunt. He's going to swing and miss at this. 
Huge opportunity to tie this up for Jackson Williams and Darius Stewart and Daniel Alden Cortinas in the hole. If they can just get to that fourth batter, or that fifth batter of the inning. Williams taking. Nolasco Rodriguez, his pitches have been diving. A lot of them end up low. But now with a runner in scoring position, the Titans with an opportunity. Is that one high and tight? Two balls, two strikes to Williams. The 2-2. Two -two. That's going to miss high. Three balls, two strikes. The count goes full. And the, pa the, the lights just went off. The lights just went off in the bottom of the seventh inning. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's fun. Uh, I, I wonder if we're going to be able to finish. It's 10 o'clock even, so that makes sense why the lights have gone out. And if that is how Maynard New Tech's season ends, that is just a brutal, brutal <laughs> act of nature or whatever. <laughs> My goodness. Is that how their season ends? Seriously, is that how it ends? <laughs> Are they going to get the lights on, or, or is the game over? I think the game might just be over. <laughs> no way. Absolutely no way. There is no way. The lights are off. <laughs> At 10 o'clock, the lights shut off. A and that's what you're seeing on the screen is, is just... The light, the power's still on, but the lights are off. We're still getting power. My goodness, is that is that it? Just disbelief. This is. Oh my goodness, <laughs> what do we do? Some people, people have. Uh, they've got they've got a cart coming around. I think we might be able to get these back on. They've got they've got a maintenance person zipping around on a little thing, <laughs> on a little cart. Maybe he's gonna come get the lights turned on. I hope so, because otherwise uh, that is just a brutal L for the Titans. Uh, we're just gonna keep it going. We're just gonna keep chilling until they say otherwise. But it was a two-two count to Jackson Williams. <laughs> It's Jonathan Maldonado <laughs> on second base. You ca you can't just you can't end it like that. <laughs> if it if it was still like ten six or whatever it was, like that'd be one thing. But it's ten nine. They've got the tying run in scoring position. What do we do? Well, this is this is a new one. I've I've had a lot of different weird things happen during my games, but you know, not this. <laughs> well, that's not necessarily true. One time I was at a St. Michael's football game out in, uh, I guess, West Austin, and uh, we lost power to our press box because the uh, the thing, whatever it was, the circuit breaker, like caught on fire. So we lost power and had to finish the game just like on the computer mic. So hopefully we don't have to do anything like that. I think maybe we have to play by flashlight. But a long night uh, is going to stay longer as we have no lights on the Vibe Live network. Vibe Live after dark. It's when it gets saucy. Uh, it's when all the nastiness happens on the network. So, so, so uh, that's what you're in for here tonight. And if we have to end the broadcast and that's just going to be it, then that uh, is the hugest bummer of all time for this new tech squad.
but it's also like one of the funniest ways you could lose. Um, this is a great story for them, at least. Uh, either way, whoever wins this game is going to have a, a heck of a time getting out of the first round of the playoffs. They've the seeding is going to be tough as we've got some lights coming back. Oh, they put them on the wrong field. That's great. They've lit up the field next to us. Super, 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 super awesome. Uh, yeah, but for now, there's bottom of the seventh with one out. Uh, one runner on, two balls, two strikes. I guess we're, I guess we're doing this. Hopefully they can get these back on. But I f seriously, I feel like they've turned on every single light except for the ones at this field. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'll be back when the lights are on. Fight Live, formerly K-Man Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at FightBYPE. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcast. We've been doing it for 15 years. 313, again, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives in the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close at the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to VibeVYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcast. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts. But did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Hey buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to Vipe, .com and hit Find Your School to see what Vipe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vipe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at Vipe, Yes. For the end zone, touchdown, Ryder Hernandez on fourth and two from the 17. Sure, Vibe Sports brings you the best in area high school football, but Vibe brings you exciting high school volleyball action. Dive in the middle for the back row. Here comes James and gets the kill. Vibe brings you walk-off home runs on the diamond. Line drive, deep to left. It is going and it is gone. From lacrosse to the pitch to the court and more, the leader in high school sports coverage is Vibe Sports. BYP. Well, we've got some of them on. Some of the lights are back, as you can see. Um, we're still waiting. Unfortunately, if uh, they do decide to just switch fields, we are not going to be able to get the end of the broadcast because we're set up for this diamond. So hopefully, they've got someone coming over here. They've, they've turned on the lights for the fields behind us, the ones to the right of us, and the ones to the left of us. So that's that's it. Let's see. Let's see what the, the, the call is. They're discussing it. They've got someone in a little car. Oh, he's driving away now. That's not good. Well, how are y'all? How's it going at home? Uh, I didn't think that this was going to turn into a six-plus-hour day for me. But here we are, still with uh, one out in the bottom of the seventh inning. 
uh, with a runner in scoring position with a chance to tie to send the t <laughs> whoever to playoffs. But no, we're just gonna I'm gonna wait it out. There's there's Buddy. He's he, there. He goes. So you can see him. There's the little cart. He's out in the outfield, going around the fence. Uh, now he's gone. Now he's gone out of sight. So I think I was wrong. I misjudged. We are not close to rectifying the situation. Not close um, to starting again. So one more commercial break. Formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VIPE.com. VIPE is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 313, again, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives in the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates the Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to VIPEVYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vipe.com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, VYPE.com. VYPE.com. Hey, buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to Vibe, B-Y-P-E dot com and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at Vibe, B-Y-P-E dot com. Yeah. For the end zone, touchdown, Ryder Hernandez on fourth and two from the 17. Sure, Vibe Sports brings you the best in area high school football, but Vibe brings you exciting high school volleyball action. Dive in the middle for the back row. Here comes James and gets the kill. Vibe brings you walk-off home runs on the diamond. Line drive, deep to left. It is going and it is gone. From lacrosse to the pitch to the court and more, the leader in high school sports coverage is Vibe Sports. BYP. Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VIPE.com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 313, again, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives in the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates the Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to VIPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vipe.com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Hey, buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. 
Go to VibeBYPE.com and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at VibeBYPE.com. Yeah! For the end zone, touchdown, Ryder Hernandez on fourth and two from the 17. Sure, Vibe Sports brings you the best in area high school football, but Vibe brings you exciting high school volleyball action. Dive in the middle for the back row. Here comes James and gets the kill. Vibe brings you walk-off home runs on the diamond. Line drive, deep to left. It is going and it is gone. From lacrosse to the pitch to the court and more, the leader in high school sports coverage is Vibe Sports. BYP. Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VibeBYPE.com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcast. We've been doing it for 15 years. 13 again, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close at the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh, my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to VibeBYPE.com. Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas. Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VibeBYPE.com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 13, again, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close at the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh, my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Bravo to VibeBYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcast. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts. But did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vipe, For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E.com. V-Y-P-E.com. Hey, buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to VibeBYPE.com and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at VibeBYPE.com. Woof. Lights are on. For for now. I swear this game is going to go extras. I I would I would bet every money every bit of money that I have that this game is definitely going to go to extra innings. We're already uh on hour number 3 in about 5 5 to 10 minutes we'll be into our third hour of this game. That was a nice 20 minute delay to turn the lights on. They turned on all of the other lights before they turned the lights on uh, at our game, which you know, totally the only the only <laughs> ballpark with the the only diamond with anyone at it. Let's turn those on last. But yeah, if 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 you forgot, <laughs> uh, Jackson Williams is uh, with two balls and two strikes. I I don't know if they'll continue from the original count or if we'll just start over. But I assume you would have to continue with the two and two. It's going to be weird. Also, the Titans have a runner in scoring position. It's Jonathan Maldonado, who got to second on a thrown away ball, which is, you know, pretty pretty much just the way today's gone. But it's Nolasco Rodriguez. He's going to try and get the final two outs. And I either hope he does that or he gives up a, a pair of runs. <laughs> Because if this game goes any longer, that's going to be a tough sell for this crowd. 
But we're back. Hi. How are you? Jack Farrell here again. And let's get this show on the road. I'm going to talk to the pitcher. If they don't know the count, I do. It's two and two. Everybody here looks exhausted. <laughs> We've all... He said 3-2. So the count's now 3-2. Oh, yeah. That's what we had. I misread my own book. So 3-2. Williams going to try and either get the runner over or punch him in here. There's one out. Nolasco Rodriguez looking to avoid giving up the tie. He's in. And he'll get the win and a save opportunity here if he's able to complete. But this one's going to miss way inside. That, there's, I mean, this is just going to be super tough for a pitcher. All right, just coming in off that cold, just, just pitching all day and then getting stuck. It looks like we might have a pitching change. Is this, um, oh, man, is this manager taking his time getting in the mound? <laughs> it looks like he's actually going to talk to the umpire. Looks like they might stick with Nolasco Rodriguez. No, he's handing the ball off. He's going to give it to Anthony Barone, who was just – he was nasty against the Titans in the first game. So he'll come back to the plate. I'm sure his arm's feeling pretty tired, but he's he's been pretty good out in left field today too. All he has to do is get two outs without letting anybody get a hit. As Darius Stewart is to the plate now. Sorry, folks, just trying to reset the focus on the right thing. There we go. Should be better. But, yes, it's Barone. We're going to go ahead and keep it here. I'm sure you all are super sick of the same five spots. Just don't worry. We get sick of them, too. Been <laughs> listening to the same five spots for about five years now. No, about two and a half years now. But Barone. To the mound. This is Anthony Barone. Lorenzo Barone was a starter. So now it's a runner on first and second in the bottom of the seventh inning. With one out. It's two th and uh, the two and the three hitters do up for the Titans. So it, it, it's winning time. They've got a heck of an opportunity here. They'll bring up Darius Stewart, who's three for four on the day. And he's got a good piece of contact in every at bat, as that's going to catch the outside corner of the plate, strike one. Darius Stewart has reached safely three out of four times he's been at the plate. So he's down 0 2 and <coughs> excuse me, 0 2 in the count now after taking a pitch and fouling that one into the glove of Castillo Perez, the catcher. Swing and a miss. So two outs and just one out away for the East Side Memorial Panthers. Brings up Daniel Alden Cortinas, who was a sack fly his last time up. And he got it to within one run. He's got two hits today. Or this game, he's got two hits. He's got a double and a single. That one is going to miss outside. Good contact. Could have Williams around to win it. Foul tipped. A ball and a strike. Alden Cortinas trying to play the hero. They put him on the mound to try and get the win in the first game. So he takes that one outside. So two balls and a strike to the number three hitter. 
It'll be Caden Easley up next. This one's hit well. That'll get down. They're waving one runner home. The throw home will be not in time, and the runner's going to go to third. The runner will advance to second, so we have a tie game with two outs in the bottom of the seventh. Runner gets away! Oh, he had it! The ball got away from the shortstop! If he had kept the run going, that would be the game. But that's okay, it's tied. So it's tied here in the bottom of the seventh inning. And please, Caden Easley, just take us home. So Daniel Alden Cortinas is able to tie it. And now with runners at second and third, two outs, the big fella with a chance to end it. Uh, otherwise, we go to extra innings. <laughs> Yikes. Just a base hit here. Easily struck out his last time up, but he hit a double before that. And it was a nasty double. Anything that is a base hit is a winning, it wins the game. It's a walk off. Here's the pitch. He swings. That's popped high into the air. That's probably an out. But it could drop. That'll get in. The ball game is over. Mater Newtek, the Titans have won the game. A walk off, a bloop single that just happened to fall in. The perfect way for this game to end. Caden Easley sends the Titans on to the playoffs. Their first playoff berth in school history. 11 to 10, a walk off in the bottom of the seventh. And that's your final here. At 10.25 p.m., the ball game is over. So that'll do it for us here on the Vibe Network. Manor Newtech picks up the victory in the bottom of the seventh after a weird light delay and a long game and a doubleheader. They avoid getting knocked out. They win the tiebreaker and they move on. Incredible fight in that game by the Panthers. Eastside Memorial has nothing to be worried about. They came in with a, with a do or die attitude. They got the first one. And 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 I really don't blame their pitching. I, I think I, I think if it were if it were reversed and, and, and New Tech were having to get those outs in the bottom of the seventh, it would have been tough just to come in off the weird delay. But some luck takes the side of the New Tech Titans, and this one is over. My name is Jack Farrell. It's been a pleasure uh, bringing this game to you. Uh, it's been weird. <laughs> it's been a lot, but a doubleheader is in the books. Uh, I'd like to thank my QA, Mr. Len DeSalvo, for uh, keeping us on the air. I know it was is, it was tough for, for a while, but he stuck with it through us. and glad we got to bring you at least the end of it here. Uh, I'd like to thank our sponsor, Academy Sports and Outdoors. Gear up this spring at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Hope you all have a great rest of your week on this Monday night. I uh, hope if you made the trip out to the game, hope you have a safe trip home. We're going to go ahead and sign off. Thanks for listening, everyone. Good night.